Once upon a time, a man lived in a small village at the edge of a vast, misty forest. Like most people around him, he had a simple life, waking up with the sun, working with his hands, going to bed tired but content. He wasn't unhappy, but he wasn't alive either. His heart felt heavy with unfulfilled dreams, dreams that echoed like faint whispers of a life he hadn't yet lived. You see, every night when the man closed his eyes, he found himself walking across a bridge. On one side was his ordinary life, and on the other side, a world filled with everything he had ever imagined, his passions, his ambitions, and all the desires he had buried over the years. It was like an alternate reality where anything was possible. But no matter how hard he tried, he could never quite reach that other side. Years passed, and the man grew older. He began to accept that his dreams were meant to stay as dreams, a part of a world that didn't belong to him. Not everyone is meant for greatness, he would tell himself. Some of us are just meant to live quietly. But deep down, a question kept gnawing at him. What if he had just taken one more step? What if he had pushed himself just a little harder, believed a little more in the unseen possibilities? He would never know because he had stopped trying. One evening, as he sat alone under the stars, an old traveler approached him. The traveler was wise, with eyes that seemed to hold the weight of countless stories. Sensing the man's restlessness, the traveler shared a secret that would change everything. The bridge between dreams and reality the traveler said, is invisible to the eye, but not to the heart. It doesn't exist outside of you. It exists within you. Every dream you have, no matter how far away it feels, is connected to where you stand right now. The problem isn't the distance. The problem is that you've convinced yourself the bridge isn't there. The man was puzzled. How could a bridge be within him? He had spent his entire life searching outside, waiting for the right moment, opportunity, and sign that would tell him it was time to cross. But then, something shifted. For the first time, he realized that the real barrier had never been the world around him. It had been his doubts and fears. He had spent years walking halfway across that bridge and turning back, believing that his dreams were too far, too impossible, too grand for someone like him. All along, he had been the one who chose not to cross. With this newfound understanding, the man made a decision. He would no longer wait for permission or for the stars to align. He would take that next step and the one after that and keep going, even if the path wasn't clear because the only way to reach the other side was to trust that the bridge had always been there, waiting for him to walk it, and so he did. The thing about life is that it doesn't give you guarantees. It doesn't promise that every dream will come true or that every risk will pay off. But what it does offer is a choice, a choice to keep moving, to keep believing, to take that one more step, even when the outcome is uncertain. Because in the end, it's not the dream that shapes you, but the journey you take to get there.